Hey, now we have commentary. Alright, so Agua, uh, pull out the carry. The weak, weak one carry on the dot, basically. Uh, and uh, I saw Drill Agua's Bowser, like, last week, actually, as well. When he was playing uh, Agresco Shulk. Because Shulk can kind of be a dirty character. But I think he. Aww. Oh, that command. That command is such a tough thing. Like if you if you mess any uh, any of it up, something something bad will happen. Whether you like do it the wrong way or you just get the wrong special. Uh, this is where Bowser kind of excels, where he just like starts to get a lead and can't do much. And he also picks. Uh, I know I know Jalago counter picks, so Agua wasn't expecting Bowser, and that's why he didn't ban try. That's why he didn't ban Yoshi's story, but uh. That back throw is hilarious. And we have a game three game three set now. Um I haven't watched too much of your Agua's Bowser. Nor Agua's Terry. So I'm kind of foreign to both of them, but uh <sighs> I wonder. He's definitely gonna ban Yoshi's story. Or not pick it rather, because that's just Bowser on Yoshi's story, not a good idea. But, uh, I wonder where we'll go. FD might be, uh, FD might not be good, but, like, if, if Agua is confident in his ledge trapping, because that's one thing I noticed drills Bowser doesn't really do. He doesn't really ledge trap that well. He's just kind of like, I'm going to try to read an option, and then he doesn't really get it. So it kind of sucks. Uh, are we counter picking? Joker. Yeah, we are. All right, so this went from bad to uh terrible for Bowser. <laughs> to put in the words. Three, two, uh, like I said, go. I don't know Agua too much, so I don't know if he's trying to pick up Terry or not, and if he's played Joker or not. So I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, oh, oh my God! Just... There's sometimes there's just those moments where it's just a scramble situation. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of the crux of Joker, you know, his combo game. And then we have our send, but anyways. Um. I feel like this. I feel like Agua needs to calm down a little bit. Or Agua. Agua? I don't know how to pronounce it. Agua. Oh, he's dead. Not dead because it's Bowser. 138, I think. Oh, uh, he got he read the wrong tech, but he didn't read that bit. He didn't know that it was gonna be tech. And uh, this is where this is what separate separates the Joker, the Joker's from the Joker, Joker mains, I guess. Whether or not you can you know kill with or without our extent, but pivot up so the turn around up tilt ladder. I'm gonna take the first stop. And oh my god, the amount of arsen he got from that up beat. Jesus Christ. Alright. He's gonna get the cross up, but Agua's just gonna be preparing him. Oh! Dang it, he didn't get it. That's kind of, kind of big, but not really. Alright. Alright! Cheeky 30, 40%. Nice reaction with the Tetracon. High recovery from Drill, but it's not going to be enough. The DIN is going to make that 40 true. Barely going to live from it. This is... This is where... Uh, this is where Bowser kind of sucks. Just getting the wall of left and right. Oh, oh my god. That could have been, like, disgusting if he had any more percent on it. I mean, honestly, this match is like kind of even, but like I feel like these are two secondaries right here, so like the problem is killing right now. 
other than like you know a hard read up smash or just like something standard like a side B from uh, Bowser. But uh, Agua, Agua combo game looking pretty nice. You know, I got a, I was a little bit sus of it. I didn't know too much about it, but it's got, it's got it. It's got the drag down up here. It's got it. And Jalago's like, he's, uh, he's kind of pressed to keep up this damage output from Agua because like he's winning, like they're winning about the same, same amount of neutral interactions, same amount of trampoline situations. But like, it's Agua's like. It's Agua's advantage state on Joker that's kind of making the difference. And like on a state like FD, where like once you get past neutral and you can go in with your advantage state, not having those platforms to land on and having like a, such a combo character like Joker, it really kind of just like uh, exacerbates that advantage state. But our son back here, that was great. I'm gonna snag it. And I think we have Pierce versus PC Ninja. What? No, you should. You should choke. You should choke. Trust me. No, it's actually six four. Unironically. All right. Your grave, not mine. All right. I had no idea PC was even here. I didn't even see him. Did you come here late? All right. Yeah. He is Port he is Portchester's ninja after all. All right, so two people I do well I I know Jalago, but uh, two familiar faces for me. We got PC with the quite spicy Yoshi with the Gresco. Uh, he's gonna go. He should go Shulk, but he tried that last time and he got schmucked for it. So he's gonna go Ganon now, which you know I advise against, but. I am not his father or whatever. I can't control the man. Um. Mm. Agresso is gonna need to like. The thing about PC is like his advantage state, pretty nutty. So like, if you can get past that, that's like kind of that's kind of like the first step to defeating him. Like he's like a solid upper mid level player. Definitely. Hey, his tag isn't here. And then, like, Agresco's the type of guy. I feel like he's kind of like he's kind of like an all-rounder, and then he just has reads. Like, he will go for reads. Whether I land or, whether they land or not, he will go for them. So, uh, yeah. This is a, yeah, this is a... I don't know what this is. I can't tell if it's... It is not a hand warm. We got a game here. All right. PC immediately opening up with 44% and it's not gonna stop. Barely gonna get out of there with that sour spot forward air. And like immediately, ooh, nice read. Or rather 50 50. Um, I feel like Agresco is kind of. He's kind of respecting PC so much, but uh. Yeah, that's. Unfortunate. It did happen because I, I assume it happened because he's like he came came to the tournament late, you know. Didn't uh, didn't get those jitters out. Didn't get those SDs done. You know, kind of got that raw PC ninja. You know, it's like just came fresh off of work. Doesn't even matter though. Hit him with the hit him with the nostril. And uh, this is all right. PC was starting something, but you couldn't get too much off of it. Kind of, you know, once again, a bit uncharacteristic. But anyways, nothing too much you can't shake off. Jesus. Jesus, this is gonna be a shield. Alright. I like the attention with the egg. No tech, unfortunately, and now... Gresco gonna get dunked for the second time. Will PC go 3 for 3 in terms of dunks? He might. How does he not get hit by that? What the hell? Whip down tilt. Uh, that was the worst time to whip something right there. But, uh. Jeez. Only 34. Maybe it was just that, like, last up here not hitting. Or maybe it's just, like, that rust that's still there. But. 
right now we have an even team where PC could have had like you know, a big percent lead, but a uh, nice tech. We're gonna save him the stock right there. I mean, like we do have kind of like a PC favorite game right now. Eh. Eh. My commentary is kind of just disgusting right now. I'm sorry, but uh. Speaking of disgusting, what the heck is happening right now? Like, we've got... With, like, sc the scramble situations are left, right, and center. Air out of shield. Will DC finally get the kill? Oh, He's dead. He's not dead. I thought PC would have won for the edge guard, but... Went for the two frame. Down smash is gonna take it, but... That was, that was a little... closer. Then PC wanted it to take it. That's not good. He's, uh, I wouldn't say he's, he's a momentum player. He's like, he's like pretty. He's like really consistent with his play, which isn't a bad thing. Cause like, it, it means like you don't really have that many lows or lows in general. So that's really good for PC. But like, you don't really peak, which is kind of iffy. But like, I, I would rather stay consistent than going up and down. And that's that's just one of like the. It's just one of the PC qualities. Where it's like, yeah, he right now he's like flubbing stuff and SDing and not getting his like not getting the true amount of damage he could. But like that's nothing. That's this, this is nothing for PC. Like it's both his play and his mentality. That kind of make it so that he's like a you know, consistent in terms of like the uh, how like like his skill level where he is right now. We're gonna go for the cross up. We're not even go for the cross up. Accidental cross up. Uh, geez, I feel like Aggresso's game plan. Not even game plan. Like he's, he's just trying to like stray hit. Uh, PC. <laughs> that was a pretty good catch. Like, I feel like trading with him. Like it's working. Yeah, it's working. But like, I don't feel like that's a good long term game plan. Where like, like I don't feel like that's how you win this set necessarily. Like, oh my god. <laughs> you see, hard to read. But, uh, like, it's good. It's good for, like, uh, not build, not, not be, like, not going into a deficit or keeping a lead, like, trading. But, um, like, it's just not a good game plan. Because, like, right now, he has, he has nothing to, do I have to play right now or can I box in this game? Goodbye.
Pikachu! Wolf! What's going on? It's your boy. I don't even need to say my name. Y'all know what the fuck going on already. What's going on, Ace? You want to hop in here? I have special interest because uh, you can't talk. Okay, that's fine. Ah, okay. Well, either way, I... Alright, I can now focus on the game. I could speak to this because boy did Jaku crap on me with his fox. My man can move with it. And also, I never really played against a good fox in this game. So that upset me, and he big time three stock in the game too. So I really want to see if he can keep this going. Apparently a good Smash 4 player, but I never played that. So let's see what's going on here. Against the Pikachu is tough. These are both really fast moving characters. Good off stage play from Mr. L. Looking to convert on it, but pretty fast fall. The dare. Really, really hunting for that dare and gets punished for it big time, Jaku. Moving and moving and moving. I don't know why. I'm curious why L was looking for that. Mr. L's not a player I know a lot about, but I do see him here often. I didn't even know he played Pikachu. Looking for the extension on the F smash. Even using the up in neutral, which I think is super reckless. But still is able to move his way to a kill. So really close game here, despite the uh, early mistake from him. Rapid Jab, Joku, Jaku, getting some damage in. And unable to keep the loop going, but some really good damage there from Mr. And that's just the name of the game with Pikachu. Wow, Jaku really knows what he is doing, too. You can really 
tell. Like, every move flows into the next one. He has an exact plan for everything. And I really appreciate seeing, like, just like that. As soon as he hit it, it was immediate, immediately ready for the confirm. So, just, like, really good stuff from him. Decent stock, uh, or rather, percentage lead here. And Mr. L just kind of throwing out options. And I think it's gotten him punished that first stock in particular, and it may continue to get him punished here. But let's see if he can uh, convert this. Man, when Pikachu hits you with one of his power moves, it hurts just like that, and Fox will fly. Almost on command, we are back to an even game. God, I wish I played Pikachu. Or rather, wish I was good enough to play Pikachu. But boy, is he good. I like that setup attempt, although he didn't connect on it. Wow, and at no point was that ever unsafe, man. Taku was really spacing this really well and making it tough for Pikachu to kind of get his bread and butter combos going. Let's see if he could get his way out of this one. Ooh, time's right, but gets caught in the loop. The lightning does damage. Wow, this game is really coming down to it. The question is, does Mr. Elk keep his composure or if he's going to keep throwing out bad options? So far, not doing it, and oh my god, hits the lightning, but hits him the wrong way. Great shield, good read there. Tries to use the dash for a setup. I don't know what that move is called, I wish I did. Let's see, wow, they're both battling it out for the spacing. Great parry into the fair. Lightning to try to edge guard, not gonna confirm, and the F smash stays out, and just like that, Mr. L. Squeezing out game two. That was a back and forth game. I want to see another game of that. That was a good game. All right, Jeff and Jay Grunt. Jay Grunt plays. Does Jay Grunt play Greninja? Greninja. I think he does. Did he Greninja? That's infuriating. I love it. Let's go Jay Grunt. Just for the uh, infuriating nature of the character he plays. Characters. What is Jeff? Do you know what Jeff plays? Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Sorry, I think you meant Jay Grunt plays Greninja and Diddy. That'll be an interesting duo. I really know very little about uh, these two characters and how they match up against each other. So it'll be a bit of a learning experience. Let me go ahead and fix my mic. Really sit in there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's all my dulcet tones. Here we go, the all-important tag. Oh, it's already in there. He doesn't even need to go through the whole thing. This is a, this is a veteran of playing on stream. Yes. Yes, a pro controller player who plays double jump on the left shoulder buttons like a big brain player. I get too much crap for that. You see that, Ryan? I get way too much crap for that, and I'm happy to see another player use that controller setup, because that is the way God intended the Pro Controller to be played with. By the way, Ryan, come Christmas time, I'm going to be a Smashbox player. I'm telling you, it's going to unlock you know, a whole new uh, potential for me. And by that, I mean I'm going to get way worse at the game, and then hopefully get better. All right, let's see it. Diddy Greninja, this is a wild matchup. I really only get to see one person here play Diddy sometimes, and it's Bobo. And uh, luckily, we've never played because, boy, do I not know what I would do against Diddy. They're battling it out for neutral. Thus far, a little bit of an edge towards Diddy. Really can combo these hits together well. Wow, just racked up a quick 50%. Decent trade there, it's gonna keep him in control. The Z-drop on the banana peel, gonna even tack on more damage. Wow, but just like that, it really does not take much for Greninja to get back in. I wish I got to see more Greninja's play, because I truly don't know a lot about this character. Great spacing there. Able to catch the falling up air again. It looks like down tilt that he's using, that slides him forward. And this is an even game. Man, Greninja does not need a lot either. Full charge star connects. I don't know what you're uh, pointing to this. This guy. Headset. Oh, you want to get in here with me? Oh, I appreciate it. That was not slick broadcasting from your boy. But I am happy to have Ryan here who can bail me out, hopefully with some information about I these two characters. I also know almost nothing about these characters. So right? I can't you don't really help you much. Yeah, yeah. The only player I was going to say was uh, Bobo that you see playing uh, Didi, or Diddy, rather. But uh, that's like about it. 
Greninja's falling up air, though, really tacks on a lot of damage. Greninja has a lot of drag down aerial combos. What Jigun's trying to do here is keep Diddy from resetting the neutral, because Diddy's neutral is extremely Ooh. good. Yeah, up air almost uh, killing. Not almost, almost, but still. Send him pretty high up. There's a lot of knockback on that move. Oh, and that's all it takes. Yep, that's it. That is it. One, One banana. Yeah, yeah. One of the big changes from Smash 4 to this game is banana will trip twice. So, what meaning what? So in Smash 4, once you tripped on it, the banana would expire. In this game, oh, it stays down. Yep, it stays down. Interesting. This is a, a really good opportunity for uh, Jeff to tack on some extra credit here too, because he's got Diddy at Rage, he really only, and uh, what's his name, uh, Greninja at, at low percent. So if he can get these neutral combos going, he can tack on a lot of damage. That is exactly what he's doing here. It's also helping Jeff that Jeff Ten seems to be the more patient player of the two. Uh huh. So he's stifling a lot of approaches from Jake Ryan. Wow, and that killed at 90. Yep. Was that bad DI though? Uh, it was probably a little bit suspect, but that's about par for the course. Really? Wow, I did not think that had that kill potential that early. And it's happening exactly again. Diddy with, with the rage, just tacking on a lot of damage in neutral and not gonna let go of that shield that time. Probably would have killed him had he not dropped the shield and he gets punished for holding the shield, so yeah. not a bad option there. Once you're at 150 against Greninja, if they know what they're doing, you're not going to very long. Yeah, exactly. It's either you drop the shield. Yeah, either you drop the shield and get ripped by that the, the throwing star, or you hold the shield and the shield poke uh, aerial comes in. Ooh, Diddy. A real dangerous, ooh, I like that place. The banana really well forces him to either jump or roll. And you're right, that's just gonna sit there. Oh, stops it before it resets. Okay, but so it still it still expires at the same time. Yes, it's time based really instead of like slip based. Yeah. Essentially, Diddy's whole purpose of existence is to limit your options and then punish you for taking the few options you ever made. Oh, God. That was a very clean first game. Yeah, Jeff. it was. For a game that started like super even in the neutral, it's like, like very back and forth. And I think you're right that the patience was the uh, difference maker. Yeah, we've seen Jeff consistently take games off of good players. He brought Noku to last stock, last hit last week in all three games, barely losing. I think Noku lost to Terry, to a Terry player He did earlier. lose to a Terry off stream. Really? Um, yeah, that, that game wasn't supposed to be very close and uh, Agua tarried him apparently just hit him with the sauce also stomped see you know it's funny I was this is what I get for thinking ahead in the bracket but I was like oh if I just beat my guy in lower bracket I get to play Govinda in uh, lower round two but he loses his first game I lose my first game I lose my second and now Agua's on a tear hey, yeah it's uh, that's a huge win for him it really is I don't think he's ever beat Noku in either Smash 4 or Ultimate, so... Yeah, you know, it's funny, he doesn't come here that often, right? Because I don't think I've ever seen his... Um, he comes here about 30% of the time. Okay. Alright, little bit of trouble hunting down a player while this game is happening. Very similar start to the last game. It is just a straight up battle for neutral. DD mostly winning, but great back air there from Jay Grunt, but just unable to really edge guard him there. I actually don't like this counter pick. Why is that? Because one of one of the big things you want to do to Diddy is keep him off stage. You don't want him in neutral. And Kalos has a flat wall on the side and Diddy has a wall cling. Not yeah. just a wall oh, jump, but right. a wall cling. And it is very hard to edge guard a character with a wall cling on Kalos. Especially and if they know what they're doing and it yep. really seems like Jeff knows what he's doing. And Ooh. almost all the stocks that you would take early off of Diddy would be exploiting his recovery. Ooh. Or pulling off a sick jab lock. Ooh. I didn't even know what that was going to confirm into. Once he started going for the up smash, I was like, oh no, I wonder the, if he like, the, missed the input. The down tilt to up smash is a very consistent combo. Ooh, here's the question. If you watch any of Vinny's games at Xenos, you will see him do that to people left and right and left and right. Yeah, the thing is though, is I think I may have just seen, I was kind of looking away for a second, but I think Greninja has his own wall claim. Yeah, he does. Okay, so it's interesting. Yes. It's not exactly a counter pick, 
so much as it's like a, a safety pick almost for both of them. Yeah, probably. Kind of probably just may maybe more of a comfort pick than anything. Um, I wonder, yeah, no, I assume he seems good enough to know that Diddy would have the, the similar mechanic. Ooh. Comboing the dares. And it seems like Jay Grun is, is having a lot more success in the neutral, being patient a lot and finding Diddy an opportunity, like finding Diddy above him, which is which is crucial, I think, for Greninja to output his damage, seemingly. Good move there, gets in, drops the shield, makes Diddy hit his shield. And the neutral game just continues, keeping Diddy above him. It's all, it's the, oh, again. the jab lock again. And it really all starts from him getting under Diddy. Once yeah, he's he, under Diddy, that's when he can tack on the damage and then sets up those kinds of kill confirms. And you can't miss techs against Greninja. Like, if, if he's, Jay Grun has shown that he knows how to punish you for missing a tech. You really cannot miss the grounded stage techs like that. Uh -huh. Ooh, see, there's the wall cling of his own. So, I, you know, it, it is not a good counter pick against Diddy, but it is a great safety. Um, yeah, I'm sure he seems very. He seems to be very comfortable on the stage. Yeah, he does. And and, and really, I think the, the the difference in the patience, as you were talking about, is like super noticeable here. These were all situations where Jay Grunt would have just thrown it all on the line and gone in. Um, and I think I could take some notes from this because I think I got pretty flustered today and just played nothing but offense. Like right there, just finds his escape, and he wants to poke from the outside. I really like that. Great parry. Dare. Ooh, and he gets lifted back out of it, but still attacking out a lot of good damage that he could use even if Diddy can find the kill here. Oh! Oh, unable to find the kill. This looks like a complete flip from game one. Yeah, it really does. Jaygren playing a lot more patient. Great edge trap there. Still not going to be able to really kill Diddy off stage. Oh, and he gets caught on the re-grab. Yeah, that was just a slight misinput from him. Yeah. You could tell he didn't mean to uh, have to re-grab the ledge. Yeah. He wanted to wall jump and then land on stage, but... Ooh, you know he trips over the banana and still... Jeff over here saying, we take those. Boy, that's... I live by that. I could get that tattooed on me. Yeah, <laughs> we do take, take those. those. Diddy looking for up tilt, super high percent. It's going to be hard to edge guard him. And yeah, man, it's just, you're not going to be able to. He's going to have to find the kill confirm on stage. And he found Ninja the other two has a lot lock. of kill confirms. Does Down he? tilt, Nair, landing Nair, all of those can confirm into kills. And then just a generic smash rate, of course. Yeah, yeah. The question Ooh. is, will he find those on the character as mobile as Diddy? Because those first two came on jab locks that were really clean. Oh, he lived? Living. Good DI. Oh! That was some suspect DI. I mean, there. I'm sure he just wasn't, didn't even have his hand on the stick. Yeah, it was, he was not ready for that. Or tried to react and dash once backwards. Again, we take those. We take those. Hashtag we take those. Wow. Oh, my foot is blocking the camera. I apologize about that. Good pickup right there. Alright, game three. FG. So this is interesting. He chose, chose a similar flat stage. I mean, they had platforms on uh, Kalos, but effectively so, didn't use them. But this cuts off the wall cling ability, right? Yeah. Or just makes it a little bit more Did Diddy generally will like stages that have no platforms near the edges because then Banana can take away more options. Yeah. You know, on on a Kalos, you know, How'd you, you have the choice to jump and land on the platform. <laughs> this just in, Terry is hard. This just in. We're, this is kind of a heater right here. I know uh, Ryan has the mic and not you, but uh, this has been a true battle about of uh, two characters I don't know about. And look at that. Look how gracious Ryan is passing the rock, looking for the assist. Hello, hello. Hey, I hear you're loud and clear. Loud and clear. Loud and in the action. 1-1, one, one, game three. I like it. Yeah, yeah, and it was a really good back and forth. First game, Jeff basically won really handily, uh, and uh, Jay Grunt rallied back, uh, had a great game too, kind of squeaked it out there at the end. I don't know if you heard the, well, really me popping off, not anyone else. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. I did. Uh, I thought someone was rooting for me because I hit the up tilt power guys that are oh, fucking Kirby. I don't want to think about it. Oh, you played a, who'd you play? 
Who's playing Kirby? Dude, it's so hard to hit Kirby with fucking Terry. I'm, I'm, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, oh my god, dude. I'm, I kind of want to start playing Kirby. The new Kirby buffs are really interesting. Yeah, sure. You just want to play that because I play Terry now. <laughs> I literally can't hit anything. Uh, my forward smash, completely whiff. My up smash, completely whiff. My man just gets flat. You <laughs> can't hit him. <laughs> man is just there. <sighs> oh my god, the banana into the F smash combo. A, uh, a classic, classic here, yeah, right? <laughs> Literally a classic, and Jeff has hit that a bunch of times. You know, it's funny, all of Jay Grunt's kills thus far basically have come from either jab lock setups or I'll off smash. of his, like, up B. Not even. Really? Well, yeah, well, jab lock top smash. Uh, well, like, he hasn't gotten, like, a regular kill. He hasn't gotten a forward air? No. Because he likes to do down tilt forward air. Uh, I'm, Ooh, like, kind yeah, of like that. Nah, yeah. That was the mo most normal of his kills. But the other ones that come from the recovery that kind of blessed him or like jab lock setups. So that was the first time he actually caught Diddy, and I think that's got to be a big confidence. Mm -hmm. Good catch on that up B. Has a lot of lag. Oh my god, did you see that up smash? Put him in a, in a state above the neutral B. Yeah, that, that was, was kind of cool. That's actually smooth. Yeah. If it was me, it would have been an accident. <laughs> oh, oh my god, and he fell out of that. I know, that was That's so crazy. unlucky. Just kind of hit the top of it. Did he jump? He, he jumped. I don't think he would have had a jump. That's crazy. And now Jake Grunt's off stage. What is, is that his side B that he just did? I really don't know. Okay, don't well, know. either way, that's what he got the kill with before. Side B, yeah. It is side B. Right, okay, cool. I said up B. I, I have no idea what Greninja does. <laughs> right? That was how I entered the set being like, I don't know what <laughs> either of these characters do. I've been crapped on by Bobo once. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Oh! Greninja I, chasing him all the way down. I've yet to play Bobo, even in friendlies. He's don't, scared. Don't waste your time. He's scared. He's scared? He's yeah, scared. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you crap on you too. And now that Terry's out, he's scared of the Terry. Uh, I mean, aren't we all? <laughs> oh, cop coming in over the banana peel. Finds the punish, but man. See, the other thing that the hallmark of what uh, Greninja's damage was in, the, in that last game was that he was able to constantly find Diddy above him. And he was really able to tack on those, like, drag down aerials. That was interesting. Oh, nice. And Jake finds now. the kill. That's crazy. He I stopped, wonder how he I'm stopped the momentum of the up B and then just obliterated him. Yeah, I wonder how like where he uh, was how re how much of a read that was versus just kind of reaction. He probably knew that the up B would stop the momentum, but yeah. everything kind of just blasted. And everything worked out. So I mean, he definitely re reacted to where he was gonna land. Oh my god, and he stayed on the ground so long after I know. the banana. And still almost got red. Yeah, for real. He uh, read the no the no tech. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, just not quite far enough on the left side of the stage. Jay this is Jeff's to... game to lose. <laughs> oh. Still slips on the banana. That's what Ryan was talking about, how it hits twice. That's yeah, if crazy. it hits the shield, it, it'll bounce up. And if you don't move from there... Yeah, so basically it's on like an expiration timer, not on a, like a, a trip. Yeah, it's kind of like Holy Flame or Holy Water. It has like HP, uh, basically. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Jeff, making it all kind of easy there by the end. <laughs> I don't even need that just as like a red. Just banana peels like he was the waste basket. I know. I know. Just right towards the garbage every time. <laughs> kind of like my Smash career. <laughs> right towards the garbage? Yeah, pretty much. Very relatable. Do you want some tips? <laughs> Not from you. No. <laughs> I actually got to dip out of here. I pulled you in for one game. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm down to dip off the, off the mic, off the rocks. Yeah. Unless we can get you someone lit. Where's... Mm. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to expose anyone on the microphone right now. But you know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you guys for uh, listening to me. You have no idea how Greninja is played. Me or Diddy, either. for that me matter. Either. Look at that kid that's so lost looking into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Uh, Quid? No, is that Quid? No, no Quid's on so what are you talking about? That's Quid. Uh, yeah. That's his buddy. I is I don't it? Know He's probably that. filthy. Quid, Quid yucked on me last time we played. <laughs> So, I'm not here to talk trash. In fact, I'm quite out of here. All right, I'm going to be out there. All right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, damn it. I'll see. Ah, that sounds good. Yo, tell everyone to follow me on Twitter so they can see what you posted. All right, everybody wants to follow Croquetto on Twitter. 
Hell you can yeah. see our the uh, the proof of the debauchery the we pulled Terra, earlier. My Rune Terra professional um, poison puff cap. And me and Carlos spent like four hours earlier labbing a absolutely disgusting looking at every card, <laughs> every card, every possible card playable in uh, poison puff cap, Teemo decks, because we're monsters. I'm definitely a monster. As a person. But. Pokemon Trainer! You know what Ivy Soy reminds me of? Poison Puff Cap. Poison Puff Cap. <laughs> That's what I like, dude. Dude, if Teemo is a new Smash character. Teemo for Smash. I'm dropping every. I'm dropping. I'm, I'm dropping life. I'm dropping friends. I'm dropping everything to play Teemo in Smash at me. I do like username's selection of Lucina over Lucario here, because uh, I feel Ivysaur would absolutely body Lucario. Well, I think uh, he, he he definitely picks Lucina more than uh, Lucario, but... I think he's got as good wins recently with Lucario, though. With Lucario? That's because people probably don't know the matchup that yep. well. But yeah, definitely... Ivysaur and I think Charizard would dumpster Lucario. I don't know so much about Squirtle because he's kind of like a weird character to combo, but I mean, it's good that he went Lucina. I think he's definitely better overall and I think he's definitely better than Pokemon Trainer. Oh, almost got him with the, with the down tilt. The, oh, and he hit. missed the punish. It was a good roll. Though. It was a good read on the roll. He's having good reads. Yep. He's just not actually converting off of them. He does need to close uh, the stock on quick pretty soon because it is only a matter of time before one of Ivysaur's cheese combos Oof. ends his life. And by a matter of time, I mean probably the next hit he will die. If that Nair didn't poke a shield, I think he would have upbeat and killed him. Oh, good tether cancel and the up smash. You should have teched quicker. All right, how many, <laughs> how many pumps are we gonna I get? I actually here? do like that option, where he just keeps them off stage, but yep. low. Because there's so many ways to exploit his recovery as Charizard. He does not, he can't up be right away, so he has to use one of his slow, short jumps. We've seen has a very good options to finish that. And nice pair off ledge. Here we go. Good combo by Quinn. Oh, and the falling there to catch the neutral getup. That was cool. Oh. Sick. Ivy Sword sick. Username has actually done an extremely good job of predicting Quid's off stage options. He's going high above the nares. He's dodging the the, the down airs very well. Oh! Now that down tilt will only trip at higher percents, and since since his Charizard is probably like 120, and good DI on the up smash didn't die from that. But the counter, yep. he risked it all. That was he, a got a, he got a turnaround on that. That was weird. <gasps> oh no, he's all right. All right, cool. He he noticed in time. And that downer with a big, big hitbox. Kind of stunned username underneath that. Triple up air? Oh. You can always up air more with <laughs> Wow, that Man. was that was some sus DI. That was some no goo DI. I mean sus DI. <laughs> 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 So, I honestly... What? Hi. How are you? Did they finish double? How you been there, Pierce? How'd you do on stream? Bad? Ah, uh, okay. okay Happens, dude. I think everyone in this game should just pick up... Bowser. And Terry. Have as a secondary. Where's the first? 
you know? Just not finding success in your character. Pick up one of those characters. Alright, so a change in color from using main hero. Let's see if it doesn't anything. Nice nair on the platform right there. Push him off stage. And he might be dead here. That's yeah. that's it. Upsetty. In the spaghetti. Good combo from Koi Delva, she said. Oh, he might There's, be dead. Is he dead? dead? Yeah, I think no. he's dead. Is he? Oh, he's not dead. I was gonna say he's only thirty. I think. Wouldn't wouldn't new, fully charged neutral be at more knockoff? Um, on this stage, since the left side is so close to the blast zone, that may be the case. I think a neutral be aimed at the head, tipper. <laughs> yeah, that would most likely be the best option. But to be fair. It's pretty close, and yeah. I'm sure he's worried about a lot more stuff than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the heat of the moment, you're not really thinking about that. But if he rewatches this video, Charge Nuke will be next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quid converting off his Razor Beast here. Yeah. Smothering username. Username is do not getting as lucky with his option guessing for against Quid right now, as he was in the first game. And Quid is blocking mostly all of his down turns, so he doesn't get tripped up and uh, get this yeah. tech situation. Good that was good. On That's the how you start cancel. a run back. Oh, username is doing the bobs now. So oh, this you, is spooky. You, you might see an influx in, in combos hit right now. Oh, this is scary. That was actually really weird how that side B went through Ivy Sword. Yep. Definitely unfortunate. Uh, oh, the Noku special. The Charge Noku forward special. smash it, let's. On the, on the get up attack. Good spacing from using him right there. Not taking any damage. Looking very good to take this. Oh, and if he just read that switch, he would have gotten the stock. Here. Good switch on quit spark. Oh, and the down tilt puts him closer to the ledge. Almost gets in that tech situation. Oh, but username doesn't turn around when he tries to grab, but he still gets the grab. So we'll see what he does with the ledge trapping. Oh, and quit gets it. Oh, and the double parry! Sorry, I lied. Username, you're a god. Alright, basically even. Squirtle can do rack on some damage here. Hopefully. He doesn't get cheap. Good bait on the grab. But quit right there with the back air. He tried to stop the dancing blade early. This is scary. For it. Very scary. Ooh, yep. Oh, that's, that's why it's scary. It's alright. I don't even think he gave out on the Happens. Happens. Yep. <sighs> if you're bored on Sunday, by the way, come play TFT. <laughs> new set's out. First tournament of the new set. Definitely Game not is sick. coming. <laughs> no. I will come for Rune Terra, though. Hell yeah. Will come for Rune Terra. Let me yell at these people for the next game. Yo, Jeff! Agua! Come play on stream! We have Melee here every, uh, what is it, Tuesday? Uh, we just temporarily took a break from Melee because all of our Melee players are at school pl doing uh, uh, midterms. Makes sense, makes sense. Everyone plays Mario Party. You know, if you like to play Mario Party and you think you're better than people. Mario you know? Kart. Oh, Mario Kart too. It's Mario Kart and Mario Party. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And what this Saturday, Overwatch Deathmatch. I don't know why these ads are going so fast. I don't know why it's Deathmatch. You, you, like deathmatch is like you you kill you get a kill and respawn. This is like you get a kill and you respawn next round. So if all three people die, then <coughs> you die. All right, this is Agua and Jeff. You got them mixed up. You got them. Uh, yeah, no, you got them mixed up. They're good now. Yeah, yeah now it's good. I will play Terry, which I definitely want to see this matchup. Agua fresh off of a Noku upset. Not an upset, it's Terry. That's what I like to see. We saw Agua's first game on stream against Drilago. Drilago was close too. Yeah, he SD'd in game two against 
Govinda's Bowser on Yoshi's, so Govinda cleaned that one up. But game three, people will switch to Joker, and that was convincing. But his game one against Pikachu was extremely convincing, too, stuff. Oh my god. That was some big brain banana placement, actually. Now how about that? <laughs> Runs into it. I'm more, like, I'm more interested on how Agua recovers against Diddy. I mean, I don't know the matchup against Diddy, but I'd like to see, like, the different things he does based off what I do. And the banana forward smash just takes the stock, and that's go for Terry. Oh, good. I think the banana will make oh, it. Cool. He double down tilted into a down smash. I usually always go for, like, uh, one of those commands. Whatever they're called. Oh, oh, oh the infinite? infinite! Holy shit! And that's oh, oh he dropped it. Oh my god, Jeff, you're a god, dude. You know what, Jeff? I I like it. Even if you didn't get it, you got like 60% on that. So that's that's awesome. And, and power guys. Power guys there. <laughs> dude, that's my favorite thing to do with Terry. <laughs> Neutral get up, Power Geyser. Jeff out here throwing out infinites. Power Geyser. Agua doing uh, half circle, whatever it is. I don't, I don't know what to call it. I believe so. So this is the second game of Jeff's that we've seen on screen today. Stream today. It is. And I think he's he's he has taken about nine stocks total with banana trip into forward smash and like just right in front of someone's face. Just oh, you're holding shield, banana forward smash. The classic. I mean, that right time. Sometimes it does hit the shield and then pops back into you. So that is unfortunate, but people have to start to learn that. Dude, that infinite. I'm still thinking about it. I really wanted him to keep it going. And that forward smash hits the Terry recovery. Uh, yeah, that's the sad part about yep. Terry. His recovery is buns. His command uppy actually has invincibility on his entire body for about 20 frames. And his normal uppy has only leg invincibility for about like less frames. That's so you can definitely get hit. Yeah, I'm not a full expert on Terry by any means. I'm not either. I would love to be. And this matchup main. is terrible for Diddy Kong. It is. Actually garbage. But to be fair, how many characters are good against Pikachu? Not many. I mean, but that's not the point. It's yeah. just Diddy Kong gets hard dumpsters on this matchup. But, I mean, anyone could literally do this matchup. It's, it, that's only the matchup knowledge. Like... That's only character v character. Then you got Jeff versus Aqua, so you don't know how that's gonna go. Alright, Pikachu with the double fair. Puts Diddy off stage. And good parry. Uh, up air. Ooh. One thing though is, if he has been labbing Terry enough to upset Noku, my guess is he hasn't been playing Pikachu too much. And the thing about Pikachu is, he is very good, but if you mess up with him, he is very light. <laughs> and True. You can't make as many mistakes with Pikachu as you can with other characters. Stuff like that, just accidentally landing on the banana, adds up very quickly. Oh, that was that definitely upbeat. a miss input. That, that was a miss Jeff's doing a good job here of keeping Pikachu like at bay, not going crazy with all these safe aerials on shield. So I I like that. <laughs> and the roll behind the forward smash, the forward smash. I like holding the banana. Give no reason to give it back to him <laughs> and let him use it for neutral. Yeah, exactly. Just keep camp just keep camping him with the He can't do anything to you with he can't. Oh, the Diddy, Diddy's approach isn't that good without a banana. Oh, good catch on the ledge right there. Uh, he thought he was Pichu for a second there. All right. 
<laughs> if, only go. if only I would stop moving there, he would have gotten this fight. Oh, oh, and that tail! That tail went so far. And the forward smash takes the stock. 77 is not a negligible amount of extra credit, though. That was... I consider this a comfortable lead. No, also, Pikachu is really good at those low percents, so having a character at high percents is kind of like whatever against Pikachu, because you just need to land that one hit. So, like, down tilt, forward smash, or nair into up or down smash, or just an edge guard. That's how Pikachu is going to get her kills. That's you don't want to just sit for. there and hold that against <laughs> Well, at least he has his banana. Good job from Jeff getting back on stage every single time. Not really getting edge guards by Pikachu, so. Good on him. Oh, and that forward smash doesn't connect. That's weird. One of the big complaints by Diddy players in this <laughs> game. Sometimes his oh, stuff just doesn't it, work. It just drops. And the headbutt takes it. And basically the same amount of percent that uh, Jeff had on Agua last stock. So. Oh, let's do the narrow. Oh, I think he has DI down. Unless he just missed and DI'd to the right. That was good. Good forward air to dodge the up air right there. Wow, he got out of that. Oh, the rage. Oh, and the forward smash takes it. it this Practically close. even game right here. This might actually be the ideal spot for Diddy, because you can't get back air cheesed off stage. At <gasps> He's already that high. Oh, oh, he and if he didn't tech, good tech by Aqua there, or else the game might have been over. We've seen that Jeff is capable of punishing that, so. And he 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 knows how to set it up. We know he knows how to set it up, like, very well. I would have gotten hit by it. Just double down tilt. <laughs> didn't trip yet. He probably would have gotten spot. the kill if it did trip. Oh, and he lands into the forward smash, into the sweet spot forward smash. So let's see if Jeff has another character, maybe. If he doesn't, or he's just gonna stay this into a different stage. Uh, he will not switch. He is he is a Diddy player. All right, that's good. I I appreciate that. We're gonna go back to PS2. Stop Yeah, no DSR. Do not ret resuscitate. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did not want to go Terry on that match. I mean, I would love to see Terry again, but I think Pikachu is definitely better for. Jeff's shown he knows how to deal with Terry. Yeah. I'm I mean, he's shown he knows how to deal with Pikachu a little bit. It's just a lot harder for Diddy. Correct. Yeah, the, the matchup difficulty is... It's hard for Terry to approach... Like, Sh Terry and the Shotos have difficulty approaching in the first place. I mean, I just feel like Diddy Kong has the banana. When Terry's in disadvantage, having the banana and just having to go against yeah. Diddy Kong, it just... Yeah, kind of. When Diddy has a banana, he makes it so much harder to approach. Yeah. And those characters can't approach to begin with. Pikachu has no problems approaching <laughs> or camping. Pikachu is always approaching. And always camping at the same time. And has the banana here just because of that backer. <gasps> and almost gets that down there. That good patience, was but he kind of just fell. Yeah. But he just fell on that one. He's saying, hey, you're going to... When you you're jump, gonna, you're going to air dodge because you think I'm going to hit you, and I'm just going to charge this forward to him. And he landed in the sweet spot, too. Oh my god, the side B again. That was ballsy. Fair off the ledge, the classic Pikachu. And now he's just going to hold the banana. And just spam neutral beef. He will never press that green big, that big green button. Or hit that big yellow stick. Or hit that big yellow stick. We are a lightning ball stream. <laughs> I wonder how much PP uh, Pikachu has to throw out all these thunders. I mean, with uh, with PP ups, I'm pretty sure you can get that up to about <laughs> 45. So yeah, we got plenty we left got in the plenty. tank on this stream, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the upbeat—that was crazy. Oh, the banana has been released. 
So you're no longer a Thunder Jolt only stream. That's all right. Next stock, Ooh, he lives. another Pikachu will come out and have more PP for that Thunder Jolt. All right, good, good down oh, beat. Yeah, he's got the banana again. again. Oh, but he oh, that, that would have been, been clean. Nice. He forward smash the neutral get up because it stays out there forever. And the upbeat call out. Jeff right. hits those a lot on a lot of I like good it. players. It's a really risky move because if he doesn't hit, like if they just shield it or he misses, Diddy's in lag for so long, man. Just get hard punished right there. Oh my god, this crazy off like off stage shenanigans here. But definitely commanding lead for for Pikachu. Agua has Jeff in kill percent comfortably. An up throw jump read into Thunder will end the stock. A single edge guard will, hit, will end the stock. Forward smash. I think both of these characters are capable of edge guarding each other. But I, I do think Pikachu has more yeah, options. Oh. I do think Pikachu has more options on edge guarding. Oh. I wanted something to happen there. Oh, he almost... He was about to land on the... On the banana, but Pikachu is just Pikachu and has no lag on that side beat. And good Getting avoidance of all those forward smashes. Greedy. And now they're both at kill percent. Jeff doing a very good job staying alive. Oh, and he tries to go yeah. for the down tilt forward smash. At that point, a dash attack would have killed too, so it was going to be very hard to even throw out any options. Oh, he almost got the down tilt to back air. That good, would have been the good stock. Good out by Agua to not get hit by that back air follow up. All right, practically even stock last game. Let's see how people do. And Diddy does have his banana. We will not be seeing. Oh, uh, Pikachu oh, with the I banana. We are lied. back to a Thunder Jolt only stream. Boys. What did we say? Forty-eight or <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> taunt. <laughs> Maybe Thunder Jolt has 69. Uh, that was new stock. New stock. <laughs> new stock. So that Pikachu has a, a whole new uh, PP meter on that uh, Thunder Jolt. All right. Oh, good combo by Jeff. Oh, and he he, he didn't know which side Pikachu was on. Good guess. I would have guessed left too. Honestly, one of the hardest parts about fighting Pikachu is figuring out what side he's gonna be on. <laughs> it's either you get crossed up or you get crossed up. So. There's no point in trying to guess. I'm just gonna get punished, I think. Yeah, punishing that forward smash from a, the sweet spot range is very it's difficult. Very, it's I, almost impossible. Good safe uh, approach by Pikachu, just thunder jolting and up being a shield. Oh my god, not good dead. DI. It's not gonna kill him. But I'm pretty sure they're both pretty much in kill percent. So this banana to forward smash might do it again. Or anything. Down tilt the back air. Edge guard situation. Oh my God! There, he's he's now a disadvantage. Let's see what he does. <gasps> what? That's it. Diddy off stage. Very exploitable. Wait, what just happened? Another solid upset by Agua. I just went. I just saw him go from the ledge to <laughs> off stage. I didn't see him get hit on my screen. I don't know if the TV just lagged or he kind of just teleported. Mr. L, quit. That's uh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Jeff but played really well, though. <laughs> Jeff played pretty freaking well. Agua's playing out of his mind this week. Yeah. He comes here all the time, and it's very... I don't think we've ever seen him in Winter Semis, to be honest. That Terry. That Terry pickup. And then this, unfortunately, is a team kill. It happens. It's quarters. It's quarters. It's quarters. Nobody can be upset about a team killing quarters. <laughs> what are they really upset about a team killing quarters? <laughs> That's crazy. It's like a team kill in uh, Grands. Upset about that. Why can't we all just have first place? If you guys don't want to be like team killing, just rock, paper, scissors on who goes on and who goes to losers. Am I right? To be fair, Charles is, was also seated to be in quarters as well, so. 
like in one of these positions? No, no in a different game. So the, these guys, the, the grunt gang's pretty solid. So most of them were seated to be in quarters. You can't see them all apart. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta see the other people correctly, the people that maybe or may not be higher than them. I blame no one for this. This is inevitable. Well, if we know anything from Pokemon, Mr. L should have the quick advantage on this. Pikachu is super effective against two out of the three Pokemon. Yep. But he's not very effective against Ivysaur. Not very effective against Ivysaur. I think that is a hard matchup for Pikachu. I don't. <laughs> I also think Charizard against Pikachu, even though Pikachu is super effective against Charizard, I'm going to give the edge to Charizard. Just using a Flare Blitz on Pikachu probably will kill it. Shoutouts to the Pokemon game, Sword and Shield releasing tonight. I wish I would be getting it, but I gave up on my Pokemon competitive days, and I don't feel like grinding the game. We'll be doing some VGC weeklies. Really? Yep. The, the Hell yeah. The Pokemon in that game just looks so weird. Like, I don't know. They just stop trying to, like... It looks so dumb sometimes. There's just a lion with a shield on its face. Also, Ice out here getting upset by PC Ninja. So we have Noku and Ice. Getting up the top two seeds, dude. In losers, ice and losers. Three. Name a better. All right, well, now we're talking about this game back, and uh, we're, we're pretty much back to even, so we didn't miss anything. I don't know what happened, but let's see another fair off stage. Oh, and he's gonna grab him. Get the nair loops. Nice, nice, nice. Quick, like 30 damage on that nair loops. Oh, and he tried to get the grab right there, but he got forward tilt instead. Nice up to land on him. Ooh, good, good patience call it. So hard to time that against Pikachu. Oh, yeah, Quick that. attack comes out so fast. So and fast. And he can he delay so long. Might not even hit ledge, too. Like, look at that. He's just... He's like, nah, I'm going to go around ledge. Yeah, he's just going to go around ledge and then still grab the ledge. And then the next time he'll be like, nah, I'm just going to go under the stage to the other ledge. Yeah, pretty much. And then the one time you're not shielding, he's going to thunder you. So, now this is basically an even game. So it's like we just started the game off with one stock. And, uh, alright. Alright. Let's see the combo. Oh, and Ooh, it misses the chain grab. Well, Pikachu didn't land in time for the for the grab. So that's unfortunate, but he Too still did 57 percent on the early percent combo characters playing against early percent combo characters that fall out of combos. Yeah, not a good, uh, not a good mix. Good up the other shield. Quid playing very well this last stock. Just playing clean neutral, but the forward smash. Gets the soft hit. Doesn't do the turnaround sweet spot shenanigans. Significantly harder to do, but more percent. That's it. Good up air. Up air busted. You know what up air reminds me of? Poison puff caps. That game was extremely fast. Going to town and city on Mr. L's pick. It's a good Pikachu map. I approve. Pokemon trainer. Uh, no, Alright, back to game two now. I'm super tired, I don't know why. And that platform kind of uh, didn't let the nair loop from Mr. L happen on uh, Squirtle. And again, 57% damage on uh, Pikachu. Quid's uh, 
Squirtle. Oh, he, he, he had the air dodge read. Yeah, he read he the air dodge. He just missed. Didn't it. fast fall to land and jump again for it fast enough. Missed time it. I like that uh, that thunder to try to catch the tether. And that's Ivysaur for you. I don't think he DI'd that correctly, but that is Ivysaur. So I don't think that should have killed him. Well, I've, the way Ivysaur works with down throws is if he can read your DI, you die. If you know, if you DI in, he'll up air you. If you DI out, he can up B you. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he catches good, him. Good. I like Quick that reset. Part. Try to get the down tilt to dash attack, but not high enough percent for a tail end. Good nair to up beat. Ooh. He didn't. Oh, <gasps> that's it. <clears throat> and he side B. I don't know why he side. He didn't have to side B, though. Quit saying, I don't care what character you are. You're the best character off stage in the game. I'm still going to hit you with the Ivysaur down air. I don't know if you've seen Quid's Twitter, but he just doesn't even want to play the other Pokemon. He is just Quid underscore Ivysaur. <laughs> no fucks given. Good upbeat of platform, platform style there. Not trying to take the ledge trap options. Oh my god, he's gonna get stretchered? No, he's not. Good. Risky side beat again there. And that nice was a nair clean to up. nair cancel into up smash. Nair to up smash. I like it. Alright, early percent. And he can had he, had he caught that tether, he that could have been. He the is game. capable of getting these early percent kills on Ivysaur as well. And the nair was just too high to hit that nair loop. So just popped him up. Good nair on shield. Poke him. Alright, Mr. L is getting a lot of good reads here, and he basically brought the game back to even. And now Quid is off stage with this. Oh, and the up feet through stage. I don't think he did that once this set. Yeah, I don't I don't remember it. Saving it for the win. Good up beat behind him, knowing he was going to have a lot of life from that forward smash. And the up smash, oh. One more hit from Ivysaur, and Pikachu is as good as dead. All right, cool. You're okay there. You just got to live this ledge option. Oh, and the up beat hits, and now we're back to neutral. At this point, back throw will kill from anywhere other oh, than dead center stage. Dead. Oh, I don't know how Ivysaur just up aired five times. <laughs> And if you get this down tilt to, oh my god. Now just about his entire toolkit will kill him and there it is. And we all know he was looking for the up smash. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, why even try to get other options? There's no point. Riggs, DK Dan! Oh, I love DK Dan. I got Riggs, DK Dan next. He's a Link versus, I'm not sure, I'm assuming DK Dan's still playing DK. Considering it's Go literally in his name. Put me in. Put me Buster. in. Carlos yeah. signing up for the redemption Buster. bracket. Buster Wolf now. Buster is hard. <laughs> again, again, jank characters. I just get edge guarders. Carlos over here johnning about his losses with Terry. Dude, I literally just get down smashed by every character at ledge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get fucked, nerd. It's called the counter pig matchup. Shout out to NIP. <coughs> so this is gonna be DK versus Link. Right? This is DK versus Link, I believe. Right. Unless DK Dan picked up a new character, but he left the DK in his name, so. That's right, he was playing some wolf. Oh, okay. Govinda, is Ace playing his?
Shout out to all the good games coming out this weekend, or around this time. Room Terror just came back out. TFT set two with ranked coming back out. Pokemon coming out tomorrow. And not, Smash, not just Call of still Duty. out. Oh, Luigi's Mansion came out. Oh, Luigi's Mansion three, sick game. Sick game. Uh, is that is that Ken? Hell yeah! I'm hyped now. I'm I up. am. All right, my Stacey. hype level for this set has just gone up. Low forward fireball. Option select. I like this. <laughs> I I would not have guessed that DK again switch Dan switch to Ken. <laughs> Ken is what? one of these characters I wish I could play, but in just a Smash game is so weird. I don't know. Nice command level to that. Link role. a hard character for the Shadows to deal with, to be honest. You think you think DK would have been harder? Uh, easier? No. Had a easier Definitely time. easier. Definitely easier so, for the Shadows. I'm wondering about this pick, but I guess. Oh my God! And the Tatsumaki to down smash there—that that was actually really cool. Hard Tatsumaki to down smash. Sorry, my bad for all those uh, brainiacs out there. The down air on the ledge trap to catch a neutral get up and the focus attack almost try to eat the bomb hit and then crumple Link when he was coming down. So and the shorty. Oh, but the bomb. Wow, that, buffering that was the man. bomb outside. That was of the actually tree. sick. That was Riggs cool. obviously knowing the matchup. Big brain, he knows he could do that. That's like some Shulk level getting out of combo. Riggs showing he knows his character in and out. All right, well you're done. Now. Can't miss text though. I'm pretty sure that was a command one. Even if it wasn't, if it was just a regular upbeat, <coughs> would have killed. It was at 130. Alright, let's see these low percent combos from Ken. I want to see a zero to death. Ah, yeah, there we go. In chat. Um, Ken Shoryuken is fire, and the bomb auto detonates to fire. There oh, you go. for real? That is, that is me not knowing the, the, the Link character. Okay, that's cool. Shout out to Ginormous Ken main. I mean, it makes sense. As a Ken main that you would know that. Hell yeah. <laughs> DK Dan trying to get all these jabs, the uh, hard jab on these rolls, but it's not really connected. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Up he had a shield, really strong on the next one will probably kill. Yeah, there you go. In the middle. Directly. All right, let's see it. I haven't seen any Tatsu setups here for BK Dan, but I mean, I'm not a Ken main, so I don't really know what's optimal, if he's doing the right things or not, so I'm just gonna shut up about it. But I do like it. I haven't seen many like down tilt to like low forward combos yet. I cannot say I've ever seen this matchup before, so. Me either. But I do know against Ken, it's very, it's very risky to not tech when you get put in these teching situations. And I've seen uh, Riggs not tech, but oh, and the air dodge backs into the up B. He might be dead. Yep. No, he's still alive. Good Riggs up. tried to end it right there, but just unbelievably ahead. Oh, and you're that's dead. it. And he jumped into he he literally went into very that. clean game from Riggs. Very clean. He might maybe change his characters here, I don't know. Maybe change stage. I could I could definitely see that. Alright, well he just put the headset on, so maybe it's uh Nope, rather vote for myself. Oh, banjo? 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 I like it. Oh, uh -huh. Which Banjo skin as well? Uh, Alright, it's man. happening. What a good man. This is the first Banjo we've seen in winner's bracket other than Utopian Ray, so... I'm ready to see his take on the character. Adam calls uh, Utopian Ray the surgeon, so... One thing I did learn about Banjo yesterday is that you can grab Banjo out of his side B. 
That's the only way. That's the only way you get out of it. Venia did it three times in a row at Zeno's yesterday, and my God, it was insane. Yeah. Props to Venia for being an absolute beast at this game. <laughs> and showing me something I didn't know, or you didn't. Know. Oh, good parry on the down air. Puts him on stage. Did he just delete the bomb? Yeah. It, it looked like he just deleted the bomb. Uh, or it got shot in the other direction and I didn't see it, but we'll just go with he deleted the bomb. <laughs> it ceased to exist. Wonder Wing. To be fair, Banjo is a DK character technically. So DK Dan <laughs> sticking true to his name. True, true. A little bit true. Oh, thanks. New controller. Mine. Rough bomb setup. But he's fine. Now, I just feel like Banjo has a hard time off stage against Link. Because Link's ledge trap is so good. So impressive. Yeah. That boomerang almost saved him. But yeah, pretty much. But. No cigar. Yeah, Banjo can camp most characters, but it's pretty tough to camp Link. You give him time to set up his stuff, he will be throwing several projectiles at you at once. I also think it's hard for a Banjo to kill, especially Link that doesn't like approach you like every other character, so. Good try on the on the two frame with the side B there. Probably would have worked. But Rake saw it coming in. Going a different way. One big difference I see between Dan and uh, Ray is Ray switches between side B and neutral B quite heavily. Significant. Whereas Dan is mostly utilizing side B. Down B. Yeah, down B, sorry. <laughs> he's also I know it's down B and just, you know. He, he's also been in disadvantage for so long. Alright, DJ yeah, Dan has no jumping. Uh, yeah, that was uh That was a rough game too. Rough game too. What a win with Ken again. Or Terry. I like Terry. Terry would have been a good matchup. I would have loved to see it. We got PC Ninja and Karanchi up next. PC Ninja. Yo, PC Ninja, Kira. Is this PC Ninja's first time in Winter's Quarters? Say that again? Is this PC Ninja's first time in Winter's Quarters? Uh, I don't think he's been in Winter's Quarters other than since Smash 4 when uh, the game was pretty much dead. So good shit to PC Ninja. Fresh off an ice upset. More like. There are not many people in this region that have actually taken sets off ice. So. Really good job to him. I'm sure he is very, very happy with that. Uh, yeah. Pikachu, I decently hard matchup for Yoshi, <laughs> but not undoable. Not undoable. Uh, Yoshi, I mean, <clears throat> Pikachu, like, offstage shenanigans doesn't really work on Yoshi that well. So... You're going to have to try and rack up damage on stage and get those tech chases or nair into something, you know? Unfortunately, DK, Dan, and Jaku will be playing in losers. DK, Dan, and Jaku. Long-time yeah. friends. <laughs> First-time rivals. Yep. Not until, like, all the way in top eight. Not, like, way up here. Just start all those games down there. Sorry, having to yell at the guy who doesn't know how to score games. <laughs> Happens. This is Kira's first time on stream tonight. He went, he was playing doubles for a very long time. They actually, um, <coughs> Kira and Riggs were teamed together in doubles. They lost in winners and ran it back in grands. So he uh, had been taken up for most of the earlier part of the tournament. That's why he wasn't on stream at all. That's why he was not on stream. But that makes sense. It's the third Pikachu of the night we'll be seeing. Best character in the game, in my opinion. 
Not easy to play, but Definitely disgustingly easy. good in just about every situation. That's why everyone's picking up Pikachu. I will be right back, friends. Hey, his mom called him in the middle of the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oof. That's why he was salty. That's funny. Hey, yo, we got the boy Kira versus PC Ninja. PC Ninja plays the wrong blue color. I don't get it. Fresh off an ice wing. Mate <laughs> melted him. Ryan, <laughs> over <laughs> it. Hey, we got them up air strings. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get the Nair Leaps on uh, Yoshi. Yeah, double jump out of it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, my, like some of it's real, like the early, early percent ones real. Yo, that thunder was such a big brain. Like, <laughs> what through. combination of movement would you have to do to even get back there? You must. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't look like food. Don't do that. Bring me back some food. Buster bracket, yay nay. Buster bracket. Okay, remove them. That's fine. All right. Yo, we got back airs. Yo, is he, you see what I'm talking about? Like, even he double jumped there, but he hit a button, so he got nared out of it. Yeah. Oh, oh he just did he it. Let go shield. He just did it. He let go shield. That's spooky. I, I don't. Like, the punish would have been huge if he had shielded that. Oh, the punish would have been like a down smash. Nah, it'd have been like oh, four tilt up, up there. I mean, up tilt. He messed up the. At that percent, you only get one. He missed the jab lock there and got a double jab. That's upsetting. Because that <coughs> forward smash might have killed yeah. Pikachu. Alright. Up tilt is not connecting. Probably would have taken the stock there. And he just goes for the down B. He tries to break shield or poke shield. He tried to. Oh, he, tried to he tried to eat him again. Yeah. Damn, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, he quick attacked back into it. Yeah, wow, that, that's that's, that's the. <laughs> you know, my man is seeing good, five plays into the future. Good DI on that though. Not dying. I would die. Yeah, 130. Hell yeah. 100. I would die. No, the thing Kira is doing really well is not going off stage to try and edge guard Yoshi because that's super hard for Pikachu to do against Yoshi, and just staying on there waiting for a ledge option. Yeah, I'm stealing that. There's mad times where you go oh, just up air, no fuzz. Up air out of shield. Yeah, I'm stealing that though. Like when you're like too far away to get a oh, he almost got spiked. Oh my god. Nice. We chilling. We chilling. If he was a little bit lower on the blast one, he would have died because of how Smash Ultimate works. He might be dead. That's a good spot, love. Double jab on shield. Definitely gets down tilted. In air? Oh, back air. Don't that's what that's what I'm talking about. That's mad good. He like he like whiff punishes with quick attack because even if you hit shield, you can like on reaction go away again. Yeah. He was looking for a uh, an air dodge right there. Yeah. It was good though. Like he could have he could have uh, capitalized off of like getting the double jump that early because he was still really high after the double jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, good. an up smash would have been great. All right, try gotcha. to go for the hard hard read of just <laughs> mashing out and staying in the air. Who is at the play? Hey, that's fourth place, though. Uh, win. You got Yeah, wait. No, no, no. Even if you win. Even if you win and DQ, you're guaranteed money. <laughs> money. Money. You win one game no matter what. Yeah, you're guaranteed third. So if you win, you automatically, if you lose and then win, you get money. 
But if you lose, you're not gonna play your next game, like you said. Yeah, you threw it here. You literally threw it here. All right, you want it? No, it's mine now. <laughs> All right. All right, good. No, we trash it. You're not getting. Me too. You wanna play KOF? Yep. This is. If you win money, you can just Uber home. <laughs> oh, I would see. I would have dropped out. Yo, what the hell was that? He just got up tilted. I mean, up air out of back air. Yeah, he got back. He got back air out of his up air. He double oh, jumped back. back air. Oh, okay. That's why he went so high up. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So the first part of the back air. Well, not the back air. The first Yo. part of the jump. Yo, my man PC Ninja loves this down B. Yeah, I mean, it's an early kill move, and if you shield it, it's broken, so. Oh, but he back aired there for some odd reason. Nowhere near the Pikachu. Why'd he go for up for a 130? You can't oh. get anything off of that. It's too high. Oh. But you could have got an up air off of down throw. I don't think so. 150? I mean, 130? Nah, yeah, you could, you could double jump up here. Yeah. Yeah, he just did it. Dash attack. Got a big ass head. Yo, if he's a ninja, is, has a nice little lead. He just needs to play a little safer. Yo, I like this running away from the pressure instead of like. It's like right where you know the threat range is. You run away instead of just holding shield because Pika's fast enough to get back in, into like attack range. That's interesting. Like, I would definitely just sit there and hold shield. I don't like these approaches by a PC Ninja where he just floats in on him with an air. Just gets free back air to forward air. But he's doing a good job of being off stage and getting back on, like, to get out of disadvantage. Yeah. Kira's not pushing too hard. He's like, he, he knows he has no reason to go off stage. Yeah, he I, I wouldn't go off stage if I were Pikachu. All your moves with Pikachu get beaten out by a double jump armor. So, yeah. What's the real point of just putting yourself in disadvantage? You actually just put yourself on ledge when Yoshi's back center stage. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Good down toast puts him in disadvantage again. You're gonna do it again, forward air. Making them guess with these ledge traps. Oh, and the back air takes the yep. jolt out. And that, if he fast fell that fair, Pikachu was going bye bye. Pikachu is learning the move big. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't like that because even if Pikachu shields that, you're getting punished as Yoshi. Oh, good, yeah, good, good try on the, on the roller read, just a little late. Dude, missing those texts is terrifying. Oh, oh but he didn't turn around the up smash. If he turned it around, it would have connected. Mad. Oh, huh? would have been the stock. He also could have turned around down smash. Yo, do you think Pikachu's hat gives him more? Distance on jab. <laughs> <laughs> he could have turned around jab lock. He could have turned around jab down bead. Could have done a lot of things. All he had to do was turn around. Yeah. Oh, and he runs I'm sure he thought he had to turn around up smash though. There's, there's two groups. You know how to open it, right? Yes, sir. I Agua Ricks! Let's go, Agua. I have no favorites here, but I want Agua to win. Agua actually on a tear this tournament, upsetting Noku. Noku and Jeff. My name is Jeff. Agua actually might need to leave. He said he didn't expect to do anywhere near this good, so. He was like, yeah, I figured I would get, like, 13th and then have to bounce, and it'd be okay. And he's like, and now I'm up here in winter semis, and I didn't expect to still be in this tournament. <laughs> Perry. 
Yeah, well, if he wins, he'll, he'll be in winner's finals. He has definitely never been in winner's finals here. <laughs> We're going to be Terry versus Link. And those and names are absolutely backwards. And they're not anymore. All right, cool. There's a pro controller still connected to the Switch, but just deleted it. I like it. All right, Terry versus Link. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Haven't seen many Terry matchups, so... This is the first as well. How about that? All right, nice fair. Cash the ledge jump. Uh, nice getting back on. Oh, and the double down tilt and waited for the option. Drop down power wave. I wonder if that's... I don't know what that's supposed to catch, but it looked cool. Carlos out here taking some tips from Hella the Terry in winter semis. Hella taking notes from this. As his Terry is not in winter semis. Not here. On the couch, actually. To be more specific. It's all right. We forgive him because he's been playing Runeterra too much. And too hasn't much been able to practice poison puff. Oh, and the up tilt. Not at a hundred. Not at go range yet, but now is. So let's I see. I wonder. I wonder if Power Geyser will detonate the bomb. More than likely. Oh, and the raw backer takes the stock. Still has go here. Up till two Power Geyser does break shield. I would like to see that. All right, let's. Oh, he I knows these confirms. I think he missed the combo there, and I think he wanted to get the command grab one. Ooh, but, oh, good, good, snipe, good, good snipe bomb positioning by Riggs, saying, "Hey, this is what you've been doing. I'm gonna blow your ass up." Up smash out of shield. And that might take it. Oh my god. If that was a. If that a was not Link. Yeah. Or if that was a command input, that kills everyone, I'm pretty sure, at the top platform. Like at 60 on Battlefield. Like and how he is just super armoring these bombs off stage. He's just like, oh, you're gonna put a bomb there? And then he just blasts it off stage. <laughs> Alright. And he just. I, I don't know what that move's called, but he just does it off ledge to get back into neutral state. I think it's power dive. Power dive? I think power that's dive. what he says when he does it as well. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can I commentate this match first? Can I commentate this match first? Alright, cool. Lovely. Ah, oh, and Terry at go percent doesn't get to make use of it. Alright, well, practically even game. Keeps the bomb on stage. I would throw it off, but Questions, I'm not, can I'm Agua not. get in? <coughs> can Agua get out of the disadvantage state? Yes, he can. Let's see it. Oh, no and cancel if, to up here. If he can't get in, eventually he'll get to 100, and he can just power guys with the grab out of him. Exactly. It's like Buster Wolf is the grab one, right? Yeah, Buster Wolf is the armored one. All right, getting going to get back thrown on That's stage. it. Go percent. All right, well, this is where the game starts. Oh, power guys are... I'm pretty sure. Pa oh my God! He should have. He 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 hesitated too much on that. Crack shoot. All right. He how about that through that and try to get the up tilt to power guys are there. Honestly, I think that would have ended it if you got it. Oh, you're still living your Terry. And that side, whatever it's called, radical power move. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'm gonna. I have to go. So. Good, Good luck, luck in your Buster bracket. We yeah, will be Terry. right back with some more commentary in a moment.
Pikachu. Pokemon Trainer. Oh, my God. 
Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer!
Hello, hello, hello. Alright, winner's finals, Quid versus Riggs. Yo, game five. Uh I don't wanna be biased here, but let's go Quid. I don't know, they both pulled off some si pretty sick shit. They do. The end of the last game was tragic. Riggs had it, and then he got Razor Relief twice off stage at like 10 and died. Oh my god, and that up air stayed long enough for the switch. Alright. He got Razor Relief what? What happened? Razor Relief what? Razor, he got Razor Relief twice off stage at like 10 and died. Yeah, and he just couldn't get the bomb out of time. All right, even game. Even game. Even game. Two stock game. Every game's been like this, though. That's why I like to see. Let's go, Quid. All right. Pretty much, it's a whole lot of rigs winning the neutral, and then sometimes Quid will pull out some Pokemon Trainer Cheese, kill him at ten, and then he's back in the game. Yeah, well, these Squirtle combos definitely getting him back in the game. Fifty-two from I, I think nineteen percent. Oh, and he jumped, almost got in that tech situation with that Nair from Squirtle. Quid's had some amazing oh, jump oh, missed. Which allowed the down air to hit. Mm, he just stood there and upbeat. I think an up air would have been better, but... I think that actually just gave Quid stage control, though. Oh, Nair shield. Catches him. Now he's off. Stage got him. Oh, yeah, Good that, stuff to Quid. All right. That bomb actually gave Quid the stage control and led to Riggs' death. Mm -hmm. That's a razor leaf. All this extra credit adding up. Let's see it. 43% with Ivysaur. I don't know if you were watching. 59? Riggs won the first two games. And, this, and then Quid has brought it back to 2-2. Two, two. This is the reverse 3-0. So the if fraud Quid wins detection. This, the reverse sweep. <gasps> will be complete. Oh no. I don't think this. He, I think he. Oh, the up air. Let's go, Quinn. That's what I and like. That was to a see. reverse sweep. Let's go, Mr. Uh, oh, Charles. Let's go, Charles. <laughs> Let's go, Charles. We have our own ENC Croquetto rooting against ENC Ice. <laughs> uh, you're, you're not ice anymore. You're like water. You're melted already. Come, you're water. You're melted. Like you're, You ain't ice anymore. What'd you say? Is that... Can you say that on stream? Charles going with this pat patented uh, Mars impression. Coming here with pajamas. Yep. Charles likes to be comfy when he plays, rocking the pajama pants. Charles, if your name was Sam, would you be Pajama Sam? Charles, if your name was Sam, would you be Pajama Sam? Do you know who Pajama Sam is? How old are you? I don't like these kids. Never mind. Shout out to all my boomers. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomers. <laughs> <laughs> so there's going to be some non-biased commentary here. Oh. Pajama Sam. There was a game on the computer a long time ago. So f time for the non-biased commentary. Let's go, Charles. Let's go, Charles. <laughs> I've heard Ice likes to go on the Whirl a lot, so this matchup could go 50-50. So for those that don't know, Ice, longtime Westchester top player. Charles has been pulling some crazy upsets in the last two seasons. Up and coming player, already in the money. I don't, I don't know if Charles has been in the money before, but he's in the money tonight. He's already won some money. Let's see. Has anyone money in doubles? Yeah, yeah, in doubles. Him and Quid are actually sick at doubles. Charles and Quid have some clean doubles wins. Yeah, tell them to come by, Mark. And the Politana from Ice. I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, Ice was saying that he knows that Charles plays 
Robin Wolf, so he's just gonna play Palu as his first pick because it has a winning match against both those characters. Doesn't doesn't want to mess around today. Yeah, he uh, he already got upset once by PC Ninja. PC Ninja. He's not looking to get take another upset, but yeah, I'll help him out with that matchup. You know? Charles has been upsetting a lot of people the last two seasons. Him and Quid kind of took the Westchester scene by surprise, by saying, "Hey." You guys don't know who we are, but we're going to come slap you anyway. Good, close, explosive flame right there. Catch Charles trying to do a neutral B. Oh yeah, this matchup isn't, uh, doesn't look that good. This but, matchup is abysmal for Rob. But I do know that, uh, I think his name is Dill or someone. I'm pretty sure beat Jen at one of the big majors the other day, or not the other day, like three months ago or something like that. So it is possible. And uh, Rob is a very fundamentally solid character, so can't count Charles out yet, but I also do know that Charles plays like nine other characters. Charles, not nine, but... Charles is a very solid snake, a very solid wolf. I'm pretty sure he plays a uh, Pokemon trainer too, and maybe Mario. Love to see Mario. I know I've only personally seen in bracket the, the Rob the Wolf and the Snake. He actually beat Bobo in the Snake Ditto. Really? That's crazy. This was uh, a few months ago. Yeah, that's when I had to play uh, the loser of that match. Yep. And I DQ'd myself. Clean tech chase. Ice just knew the option. Dancing off stage right there with him. Yeah, Rob, not an easy character to edge guard, but his recovery is very susceptible to it, so. It's all about the Rob player giving the right mix up to get back to stage. Yeah, true, true. Paulo, obviously, the queen of edge guarding. Ice just dodging all these le uh, these uh, ledge trump up. Oh my god. And you saw Ice take his hand off the controller and start mashing all the buttons up, and he still got up Yeah, Charles up. obviously knowing his character's percents and confirms. I don't know it, so I always complain every time I get hit by that. And when you're at 150 and you get grabbed, half the cast can kill you at that point, so you can't really feel too bad about stuff like that. Except for Terry. I don't think he has a kill for Oh, he caught him with the up air. Yeah, up very, top. very rough matchup. I'd be very surprised. This is a BL5? No, this is the best of three. The last best of three of the tournament. All right. Look at them. That Rob clapping rapidly. My, my guess is we'll, we'll probably see a character swap. Most likely. Let's go, Charles. Nice swig of water, ice. Right. Yep, as expected. I think this is a better matchup. Much better than, matchup. Than Rob. Still not the greatest, but I mean, you get what you get. The neutral is even. Yeah. If not slightly in Wolf's favor, but if Wolf ever goes in disadvantage, he's going to have a really, really bad time. But most of Charles' upsets since he started coming to the... Uh, Westchester tournaments have been with Wolf. He definitely knows how to play the character. Question is, does he know how to play it against the top level Polly? Fortunately right, for gets, Charles, it's fair, but he doesn't get a, anything else off that. Ice also knows this character since <laughs> it's one of his three mains. So. Joker Polly Wolf, yeah? Yep. I mean, when's the last time I. Uh, I just played against a wolf. Cause not many people here play wolf, right? Yeah, I think either the last time he played Charles or the last time or back when he played Ralphie when Ralphie was playing wolf. When Ralphie started showing up here. Shout out to Ralphie. Happy birthday as well. I think. Oh, oh SD. SD. Bad angle on that. Charles shaking his head, but we take those. We take those. <laughs> 
you're shaking your head that much and you're not homie stocking, that means you take them too. Yep, he took those. <laughs> you can shake your head as much as you want. The question is, did that SD put ice on tilt? Because ice not on tilt, number one player in Westchester. Ice on <laughs> tilt, potentially not even PR. So, we'll have to see. Ooh, good wolf flash. Catch the ledge right there. Up smash scoops him up. Now, if Ice loses this match, we might actually see a switch to Joker. Yeah, I would probably expect the Joker if, if that happens. Really I mean, well spaced I, I, back I there. also wouldn't count any of them out. If Charles were down this much, I wouldn't count him out either. Honestly, I think Ice could still win this game pretty yeah. comfortably. Barely missing that down tilt. Ooh, the get up attack. Hits out the forward, uh, forward tilt. Oh, that good spot dodge. Beats out been the grab. If he did grab him. Not missing the, uh, not missing the teleport the second time. Up smash, scoop some. Three stocks to one. 156%. Isaac gonna need to have some clean two stocks here. To try and take this match. Or edge guard. And? Not too high percent. Yeah, too high. Yeah, di in he could have fought, follow up with a di'd in. He could have followed up with up air, but unfortunately Charles seems to know what he's doing, and or then, just lucked into the right di. <laughs> and then the mayor shield pokes and takes the stock. Could have gone for the dash attack, but chose the risky option. Still has a whole stock to work with though. Ooh, this could Doesn't be have rough. A jump. He hits the oh, oh but he ice miss inputs. You can see the frustration on his face. Had he hit that down tilt, it could have confirmed into a raw back air. Forward air and air. He didn't have a jump, so. Yeah. Oh, and he runs into the up smash and it scoops him up. Trying to get this back there on Palatina, baiting everything out. Down tilting too late, but the up Good smash jump out. out. Saying, nice. hey, you jumped from ledge the last three times you were here. Oh, good bait on the up smash. Uh, he got the wrong distance. Side B. And that back throw might do it. Just put him in a bad uh, spot. He's not going to die. I don't want to be on ledge against Pollard. And Ice doesn't get close enough to, to Wolf to try and get dash attack or jump. I mean, get up attack or anything. Just waiting for his. Yeah, because yeah, Ice has been winning the neutral a lot more. So he figures let him get up from ledge for well, free. And just win the neutral again. Oh, but the up tilt is going to take it. Jump free yeah. to the up tilt. And that SD at the first stock really took a toll. Yep. But very clean play from Charles. That neutral, his neutral against Palu, very, very practiced. You can tell he knows the matchup. Mm -hmm. Several very good jump callouts. Patient baited out the, the shield grab. All right, shout out from Ice. Happy birthday, Waffles. Did you say Waffles? Waffles. It's Ralphie. Oh. Happy birthday, Ralphie. Hey, that's what I said. I said it first. You did. But Ice is repping it in the Smash Tag. Happy birthday, you Waffles. You couldn't do that first because, you know, uh, you went like one or two. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Dude, I haven't played this game since Terry was released, and I played Terry only. So... I took games, but not stock. I mean, sets. So it sounds like Ice is going to counter pick with the Joker. Joker against Wolf. I'm pretty sure he knows this matchup. These are these very guys' well. most played characters. Ice with a very long loser's run back today. After losing very early in bracket, wait—he made that tag. He made that tag. Happy birthday, waffles, and then didn't play with it. Damn. All right, Ralphie. He makes the tag, doesn't play with it. <laughs> makes us all watch it, say shout out and stuff. Ice with a very confident shield right there. Scratched his nose in the middle of that. 
I like it. And he holds the, what is that called, Tetracon? No, it, Rebel's Guard. Rebel's Guard, all right, all right. Tetracon is, is the, the one with the Arson, yep. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he has Arson Ooh. on board. And Charles oh. isn't, like, waiting. He's not shooting lasers, trying to run away from Arson. He's fighting. Oh, and he up smash right there, trying to catch the landing. Oh, Ooh, and that forward smash would have taken hits. him. And Arsene goes away. Gun still let Joker fall. Oh, he missed him. Fair puts the one. up smash. And up smash would have hit. That's crazy. It's very hard. It, it's a lot harder to gun down on Wolf because that forward air and that was the up airs cover a lot of space. All right, well, solid play. Both respecting each other's neutral. Charles gets back aired right there. Fair one into down That's smash. It. I don't think he'll make it back from this. Oh, he does? Right. Oh, oh, no, he doesn't. I think he would have. Very close. That fair Ice one that up air fastball into down smash was very yep. clean. The MK Leo special. Oh, nice clean drag down fast up air. Falls. So do it again onto the platform. No. Good DI from Charles. He gets hit by the upbeat, and Arsene comes out. Yeah, we just obviously a miss him, but I, I think he didn't realize that Arsene just came out. Oh, and that platform wasn't there. All right, well Charles looking a little lost trying to find that kill, and the dash attack takes it. Thank God. Remember, this is Wolf. Wolf can get a quick tech chase after about 20, 30 percent, and take your stock. So this is by no means over. And a special Joker, rage. Joker has no arsen, so it's going to be tough for him to kill. He'll have to get like a good off stage hit to kill him. Or yep, gun to into air dodge. And Charles not happy with <laughs> as he looks around the room looking for answers. Nice buffer and air dodge is off stage. That was the chance he had to tech chase Joker, not at a high enough percent without the rage, oh, though. Oh, good up air through his gun. That could have taken the stock right there. At this point, yeah, I like the attempt to go for the two frame with down smash. <gasps> oh, my God. He, he could have also down smash right there. Would have taken the stock. Good option coverage from Ice, knowing that Charles really wanted that down smash two frame, saying, hey, if you're going to stand there, you're going to get hit by... Uh, Be ready to get hit by that. Ice was looking for the roll into down smash, but Charles not giving it to him. Oh, and he killed back air from across the stage. This is definitely still a still, game. At still this anyone's point. game at this point, yeah. Charles tried to just up air through the guns again right there, and it didn't work. With a fresh meter, Ice is not going to be killing Charles anytime soon without a ledge gimp. And building up rage, Wolf can definitely kill Ice if he can just get a couple good hits in neutral. Guns to back out, really nice. Arsene half charge, halfway charge. No, oh, it's probably going to be follow up. Nope. Not too high percent. Probably should have just gone. Good back landing out. pivot grab. Oh, and the air dodge to make the back air with it. And the tech, the roll read, the up smash. Good stuff to Ice. Ice was prepared for both the tech and the miss tech there. Great play by him, and uh, we'll be seeing him playing rigs now. I don't know how the song goes, but I, I actually have to leave. Um, we will be right back with some commentary.